Hello everyone, and welcome to the Do-It-Yourself Gourmet. Today, we're going to be making a quick and easy tuna salad. To begin, we have, oh, about an eighth to a quarter teaspoon of dill. We have about an eighth of a teaspoon each of black pepper and white pepper. We also have about a half a teaspoon of dried onions, and also a half a teaspoon of granulated garlic. Underneath there, we've also got a little less than half a teaspoon of sea salt. No, I'm sorry. A little more than half a teaspoon of sea salt. It depends on how much you prefer. Now we've got our ingredients, and the first thing we're gonna do is take the tuna, and we're gonna drain out most of the liquid. Not entirely all of the liquid, because it's gonna help it keep moist, and it'll help not have to use quite as much mayonnaise, which, by the way, we're gonna be using about three tablespoons of mayonnaise. You might use a little more, depending on how soft you like it and what you add in, but that's a good place to start from. For the tuna, we've got skipjack tuna. This happens to be my personal preference in terms of the tuna that I use when I'm making a tuna salad. Albacore is nice sometimes, but albacore to me is best done when it's seared and a little bit nice and pink on the inside, not when it's been cooked too much. So we've got a nice skipjack. It's got a good fishy flavor to it. We've left about half a tablespoon of the liquid remaining from the can. That's going to let us put the mayonnaise in and have it mix in nicely so that it doesn't get too dry and then we don't have to use too much mayonnaise beforehand. What we're going to do is get that nice and incorporated into the tuna mixture. And so that way, the herbs and the spices and the salt can get right to work before we add the mayonnaise in. We're not gonna break it up too much because in doing so, we would definitely make it into close to being a pate by the time we were done with the mayonnaise. So what we'll do there is go ahead and squeeze, oh, about three tablespoons worth. We'll start there. Mix it in. And now this mayonnaise does take a nice thick texture when it gets into the tuna salad. So you wanna make sure and mix it in well. And that's one of the other reasons we leave the liquid is because it gives it a little bit of a dilution. If you like, you can add a touch of vinegar, but I don't do that. You can also add a touch of oil if you should happen to prefer that. Some folks like olive oil. Uh, that and grapeseed oil do pretty well. Now once you've got the nice moist mixture here, then you get it off of the sides as best you can. And that's gonna sit for a little while. And you can make it as fine as you like. I do like it ever so slightly coarse, that way you get a varied texture and flavor. And once the base sits, then you can add your add-ons, whatever you like to put in there, olives, pimientos, if you like a little extra onion, that's great too. Or if you like to have good old relish, well then in a couple of minutes, maybe 15, you can add in the accoutrements and you're good to go. Do it yourself gourmet everybody. We'll see you next time. This is tuna salad, quick and easy. Thanks again, I-95 Smuggler. 